Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at SC16 in Salt Lake City, and tonight we're here at the NVIDIA booth with Abdul. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, great, great. You know, I'm really excited to be here in Salt Lake City, but uh, let, let's start at the beginning. What is the mission? So I'm the worldwide business development lead for healthcare and life sciences. So I focused on bringing deep learning technologies into healthcare. And um, that involves working with um, government, with researchers, and um, companies to make it happen. And what's new that you know like this week that you're telling people about at SE16? So you know, AI is changing the world, yeah. and uh, it, we couldn't do it anywhere more importantly than in healthcare. So uh, we've made a few announcements right now about our involvement with the Cancer Moonshot through a partnership that we formed. Uh, between NVIDIA, uh, the National Cancer Institute, and National Labs at the Department of Energy um, to build a deep learning platform for cancer research that's enabled on GPUs. Okay, you know, I, I read about that, and this was the first time I've seen those two things put together, right? So, so what does deep learning bring to the table f for cancer research? You know, cancer is one of the most difficult diseases to deal with. It just keeps changing. The things that you have to look at in order to figure out the treatment plan for a cancer patient are uh, heterogeneous, they're very different, and there's a lot of different data inputs that you need to consider. And deep learning happens to be an excellent vehicle for that. So in, through the Cancer Moonshot, for example, we're using it to understand how people react to drugs differently. And we're using it also to understand how our bodies change uh, at the molecular level. And then we're also using it to understand how do you put now what you've just learned from drugs, what you've just learned from how our bodies develop, and what we know about the person's history together in order to come up with an appropriate treatment plan for them. And deep learning helps with that. And what about image recognition? Will it potentially help people identify cancer cells? Absolutely. A lot of people are looking at images as an important source of data. So if you think about the data available to a scientist today or a physician, they have the electronic health records of the patient, which has the notes, and it could potentially even include uh, billing information. But it also has, they also have the genomic information that's becoming available, and we have the imaging information available to us. So with deep learning, we started right now in imaging, where we're able to help physicians um, improve their accuracy by up to 85% in diagnosing disease uh, in pathology slides or in finding lymph nodes in CT images. Um, but we're also moving really quickly into the genomic, back into the genomic space, and how do we help them understand uh, gene splicing and link the genomics of the person to uh, their disease in the future. And then trying to also use deep learning to understand um, the information in the electronic health records, which is generally unstructured. So once you've combined learning about the person and their genomics, learning about their imaging and their electronic health records, you know how well they're doing, and you have the information about the drugs, you can bring it all together in order to make a better treatment plan that's personalized for that person.